What's going on everyone? Welcome back to a new video on the channel. Welcome to the hammer, but this is the wagon hammer the estate hammer This is sick. I actually never knew this this thing even existed. Actually, that's a lie I didn't know this thing existed except I completely forgot about it. I Love the hammer by the way if you guys have seen any of the videos that I've made or I definitely made a video in the past on the regular hammer, which is just the E-class coupe basically well, this is the estate or the wagon and it's so sick so so sick i absolutely adore these absolutely adore these excuse me if you got them inside i took my girlfriend out to eat and was buzzing because i didn't have to pay because under 12s at for free <laughs> i can't get that guy's tiktok's out of my head man right anyway uh i want to have a look at this thing obviously and uh, drive it and just just experience it because it's just it's so ultra ultra retro and it's just such a cool car also i know i'm gonna sound like a broken record i have a new video on my irl channel go click it it's down in the description box below also like this video or i'm gonna come over to your house to take a shot on your doorstep was that can i say that i don't know if i can say that anyway it doesn't matter uh <laughs> let's get started with this thing i want to have a look at it here it is big old beefy old school v8 in this thing so this is just a i'm guessing just like a, an e-class right what was it like a 500d or something like that something similar to that but then of course we have amg that took it they made it wider they made it faster still has a a four speed slush box in it but why am i not it's not letting me get in it. hello oh there we go <laughs> it is so cool. Look how old school and retro this thing is. I love it. I love everything about this car. I love the wood trim. I love the wheel. It's got electric seats. That is that is very, very cool. I really, really like it. Like there's nothing about this car that I I, I dislike. It's just all super super retro and very, very sick. I love it so much. Alright, well, I want to drive it, and then, of course, I want to do stuff to it, so I, we can make it a little bit, uh, a little bit better. Let's, uh, let's take it out. Not a big fan of the, the color in the wheels, though. I, I'm, not, I'm not gonna lie. Actually, the color, I don't really mind. I don't like the way that the grill is that color as well. Like, if the slats in the middle were just black, that would be, that would be better. But, uh, the wheels as well, I feel like, if they were black, they would be probably a little bit better. Especially with the chrome, the chrome around it. But the overall shape of this thing, super, super cool. Like I said before, I absolutely love the hammer. And the fact that they made a wagon of it, it just makes it even better, in my opinion. I'm definitely going to have to slide this thing. It just, it's, it's screaming out to be lowered and then just drifted everywhere. There has to be. You know what else would be really cool? If they actually made this thing the seven-seater? Because I'm pretty sure some of the older Mercs here... Uh, especially the the e-class works like this you can have two seats in the back facing the other way so you can literally have a seven seater estate it's the funniest looking thing i've ever seen though it is hilarious looking when you have a seven seater one of these but this this isn't it you actually just have boot space in the back but how how cool is this i feel like for people that only love like modern cars i feel like you're missing out like these retro cars are so sick Big beefy V8. The slush box gearbox is just the funniest thing ever. It's only four speed as well. And the gear issues are so long. This thing making about like, I think just under 400 horsepower. It's a car just made to just fly down the Autobahn back in the day. That's literally what this thing was built to do. It's for people that had these normal Mercedes and they were like, you know what, I want something that's a little bit more special and has a little bit more power. And then back in the day, you just, you brought your own Mercedes AMG and they, they do this to it. I'm pretty sure. And then they called it a hammer. Iconic car. I love it so much. Alright, let's do stuff to it. Let's do stuff to it. Ideally, I kind of want to keep the engine that's already in it instead of engine swapping it. But we'll have a quick look at what we have available. 5.2 V10, pretty much the same thing as everything else. 
Can we? Why do we not have like the other, like the newer Mercedes engines? It's so weird that we don't have those as an option here. Very strange. Uh, we could also turbocharge it or supercharge it. I'm not really gonna do that. It's completely stock. Makes 379 horsepower. Weighs 1,726 kilos. Fairly heavy. 566 newton meters of torque. I think the biggest thing with this car is gonna be that transmission change. I think it's gonna get this car to be so much quicker. Than, uh, than what it actually is. I also love the exhaust on the back, which they've kept for ages, I think, in the AMGs, and then they decided to then add the quad pipes as well, but the, the oval tips, like, stayed for a long time. They look very similar to this. All right. I'm also going to keep the wheels, but I want to change those the way they look as well. Uh, so since we're sliding this thing, I'm going to still keep it rear-wheel drive as well. Uh, 215s on the front is a little low. We'll try to go with something... Something nice and beefy on the rear. And, uh, again, since we're probably going to be doing drift suspension on this thing, probably do something like that. I really do wonder what this thing's going to look like when it's, like, lowered. Because surely we can put the, the drift suspension on it. Oh. That is just beefy. I love that. I don't even want to, like, make the wheels bigger. Diameter-wise. Oh, it looks good lowered. It looks really, really good, Lord. Alright. We'll have a look as, as well as some of the paint options for this thing, because I don't know if this uh, this baby blue is, is going to stay. Race transmission. That should get it to be a little bit better. And like I said, I want to keep the engine that's in it now. we we'll just put off there because it locks it for me. I don't have to do anything. Um, Alright, let's change a couple of things. I think the exhaust is going to make it sound... See, I like the sound, it's just, it's, it's an overused sound. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of different other cars in this game that actually use the same, that same V8 sound. It's such a copy-paste sound. 522 horsepower, 726 newton meters of torque, weighs 1,300 kilos. I feel like this is going to be a very, very sick little drift car. Also, I think, with that being said, since we don't have that much power, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, reduce my grip a little bit. So 245s and 255s, I think it's fine for this thing. Um... I generally feel like this this might not be able to, to spin those wheels that easily. But it's fine now, I think. I think it should be a little bit better. I just didn't know how much power we could squeeze out of this engine. I mean, I, like I said, I kind of want to just keep the stock engine in it, or the standard engine in it. I don't want to engine swap because I feel like it it loses, like, its feel. Like, it, it just make it worse, if that makes sense. Alright, now for the design and paints. Let's have a quick look at this thing. Surely it comes in the black, right? But it actually doesn't come with the black. Oh, it looks good in black, though. It looks really good in black. It's either black or, or like, a, a grey colour that uh, that the 190 e Cosi came in. Which I don't think we have in this game, but it's, like, a this, like, darker grey colour that it came in. I think that looks really, really good. But I might keep the blue, though. I think the blue for the body is fine. I think it's just the blue for the wheels that I'm not a big fan of. So, the... Okay, so that's the centre. I'm down to make that, like, this greyish colour. Now if we go to paint group 2, we have that, so make that the same colour. Paint group 3 is then... What? I can't even see it. What is paint group 3? Because it's not, it's not even, the like, the inner barrel. I don't even know what it is. We'll leave that alone. And then the inner barrel as well, I'm going to paint the same colour as before. And then the outer lip is perfectly fine. I want to keep that in, like, the chromey, like... Reflective aluminium or whatever it is, but basically just that chrome trim. I also don't want to put tints on this thing. I think tints are cool on some cars, but older cars like these, I don't think they they need tints. And I'm also one of those people that like I don't really like dark wheels on cars, but I think this, especially with the brighter color on the outside, just looks cleaner. It's so low now. I haven't really done much to the, to the gear ratios, by the way. I kept thinking, but, oh, it's clean. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that a lot. I feel like we could use this... 
We could use this car on that new track that I found. Because it's not particularly fast, and that track is super, super tight with its corners. So we could try and use it on one of those tracks. To slide it around. I don't really expect this thing to be very good. It just looks really good, doesn't it? It looks great. Why is the center go blue? For the wheels. <laughs> that's a bit weird, isn't it? Maybe that's what the paint group 3 is. When your wheels are moving, the center just goes blue. <laughs> what? Is it the bolts? Well, it should actually be the bolts that go blue. Wait, maybe it actually is. I think it actually is. I think it's that little bit in the middle there. Maybe that's... <laughs> Maybe that's what it is that makes them. You know what? I'll leave it. I'll leave it. It's fine like that. All right, let's uh, let's actually bring it over onto that track because that that was a uh, actually quite a fun track to to slide. Guys, yeah, so if I go into my history, I don't even think if I have. There it is. I'll favor this as well because it's kind of sick. I think I've done something very similar when we were messing around with like the regular hammer as well. I think I've just added like a bit of a tune onto it and slightly upgraded it. I don't think I maxed it out or anything. No engine swaps or anything like that. I think I just, I literally just brought the, the car out with a slide to it and started sliding it. At least I know where to go this time. God, this is a little longer than uh, what I expected. That's what she said. Let's, uh, let's do one of these as well because I feel like this helps. It makes it, makes it a little bit more enjoyable to watch. Pulling out of pit sideways. Go on. I still haven't adjusted my gears as well. I just left them to radio. So I think second and third are probably gonna be my best friends for this. For this track. Oh, I forgot about this as well. Oh. Sorry, mate. Didn't mean to destroy your track. I'm basically just playing with my throttle. Like steering, you can see I'm just not really doing much with it. Just a little bit preventing it from spinning out. But it's just mostly my throttle control. This I feel like is a really good track to, to practice your, your throttle control. If you pick like a slowish car, kind of like this. And just kind of slide it around. Just play with your throttle. Just know how much how much throttle you need to, to get it sideways, when you need to back off, when you need to floor it, stuff like that. I feel like it's a really good track for, for learning it. If you're struggling with throttle control, if you're, if you're struggling with being smooth with your drifting, I feel like something small like this, like this, this track would, would be really, really sick. It also helps with transitions too. If you want to learn how to transition properly. Try a bit of fourth. Oh, that's a bit long. Oh, it does whip a reverse. A little close to the to the tires there. Oh, uh, touch them. <laughs> I was just gonna try to see if I can whip a reverse. Reverse entry into that corner. Let's go a little bit, a little bit more aerial. It's so smooth. It's such a smooth car to drive. And I think it looks great as well. Oh yeah. Hood view is definitely not the way to go when you're trying to slide. Maybe if you're on a wheel, I think it would probably be kind of cool, but not when you're playing on a controller. It also doesn't move at all, so like you don't have the the drift cam on hood view. But I like the little crosshair that you have. Look at the front. 
the Mercedes logo. It's kind of like you, you're aiming with it. Genuinely just a fun little car to drive around in. And it's it's honestly one of my favourites in this game already. Drifting into the pits is actually kind of a kind of sick as well. To test your, your control a little bit. Clean! I I'm telling you, this is such an easy car to drive. I mean like I can't really I can't really show you any more than that. Like I could just put it wherever I want to. And it's just an A-class. It's a slow drifter, 100%, but you uh, you can definitely have a quite a lot of fun with this thing. Yeah, gear ratios are probably the only thing that I'd end up changing on this, but apart from that... I think my, my setup for it as well is... quite clean. But it's super, super easy to slide. Alright, there's also one thing I don't want to change on this car. Um, and... I am just swapped it. I wanted to try to see what it would be like as a sleeper. That's what it sounds like now. Uh, yeah, like I said, I really want to see what this thing is like as a sleeper. I still left it as a rear-wheel drive. The only thing I've really changed, like noticeably, is the tires. And of course then the engine. And let's have a quick look. I mean... 200 miles an hour is a piece of, piece of cake for this thing now, by the looks of things. <laughs> well, let's just get driving. Doesn't matter. See you later, mate. <laughs> it's stupid. <laughs> so sketchy. It's so sketchy to drive. That is ridiculous. Why'd they make this thing have like a top speed of like 270 yard mile an hour? What is this actual top speed? The graph said 275. 278. 278. I think it can do 280 as well with a better tune, but it's just... Like, out of this thing, doing almost 280 miles an hour is pretty ridiculous. That is very, very, very funny. Really, really funny. But yeah, as, like I said, as a sleeper build. Very, very impressive car. I kind of want to race this guy again. He's gone. Alright, let's go. Let's chase him down. Let's chase him down. Can we keep up with him? That's <laughs> if we keep it up with him. He's pulling ahead slightly here. It also doesn't help that this thing is an absolute mess going on. Oh, I'm gone. It's alright, mate. I'm just doing a 235 mile an hour drift. Don't mind me. Oh my god. <laughs> I love that this thing can keep up with like supercars and hypercars though, but it's it's so funny that I just don't have the grip for it. I don't have the downforce for it. I actually need to probably change my tune a little bit so this thing can handle it uh, going around these corners, but it's so hard for it. Maybe make it all-wheel drive. That would probably help a little bit. Anyway, it doesn't matter. That's it. Thank you for watching today's video on the Hammer. The Mercedes AMG Hammer. Uh, by the way, if you don't know how to get this thing, it's actually part of this car pack. The European automotive car pack, as you can see uh, over there. So, yeah, very, very sick car. I love this thing. I uh, I definitely recommend you try it out for yourselves. Let me know if you built this thing for anything else. That it, it, I, I don't know for what you can really build it for. Like, what else? But it's honestly just such a fun car. It's just so, so sick. Especially the way it looks. I love all the, all the old retro mercs and beamers and stuff like that, so... Yeah. Anyway, that's it. Thank you for watching, everyone. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.